Hello everyone, I am very excited to share with you this new tool called as RagFlow. RagFlow is an open source retrieval augmented generation engine based on deep document understanding. When integrated with large language models, it is capable of providing truthful question answering capabilities backed by well-founded citations from various complex formatted data. In this video, we are going to install it locally and then we will also integrate it with our large language models. Also, we are going to create a knowledge base and then we will also play around with it. Before I show you the installation, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. Coming back to RagFlow, in RagFlow, RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. In very simple words, what RAG does is it enables the large language model to get grounded in your own custom data. So you take your data, you convert it into numerical representation, you store it in a vector store and from there whenever a user asks a query from LLM, before you give that query to the LLM, first you take that query, you match it with your vector store and then augment the matched return result from vector store with your prompt and give it to the LLM so that LLM has now more context around your query as per your own data and then it uses its own intelligence and give you a very holistic comprehensive grounded response so that is what rag does and rag flow is yet another tool which tries to help us out in doing quality rag so quality is what this rag flow boasts to have it says that quality in quality out it offers you uh, knowledge extraction from unstructured data with complicated formats it finds needle in a data haystack of literally unlimited tokens it is quite intelligent and explainable and it also offers you plenty of template options to choose from it also offers you visualization of text chunking to allow human intervention and it also gives you a quick view of the key references and traceable citations to support grounded answers there are a lot of other good stuff which is happening with this rag flow and i will drop the link to its repo in video's description so that you can also go through it let's go to my terminal to start installation this is my ubuntu 22.04 and this is my gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram first up let's install and create my conda environment i'm just going to call it rag flow it will keep everything separate from my local system so let's wait for it to finish okay and that is all done let me clear the screen first now there are few prerequisites which you need to meet first and foremost you need to have docker latest version installed so i already have docker version 27 make sure at least you have docker version greater than or equal to 24 installed you must have more than 16 gb of ram and make sure you have 50 gb of disk space available and it will be always a good thing to have more cpus if you don't have gpu that is fine you can run it on cpu too okay so now what we are going to do we are going to start up a local rag flow server with docker we will be creating a knowledge base and then we will also see how it works now the first step which we need to uh, do is to make sure that at linux this parameter max map count has this value 262144 or higher this value sets the maximum number of memory map areas a process may have its default value is actually 65000 while most applications require fewer than a thousand maps reducing this value can result in abnormal behaviors and the system will throw out out of memory errors when process reaches the limitation and that is where uh, we are setting it to a higher value and they said because it uses a elastic search component at the back end and this value is extremely important in order to do that now if you don't have it already set to this value and if you have a lower value then let me give you the command which you can use in order to set it it's not uh, rocket science so let me show you 
I already have it so I'm not going to run it but this is a command which you can use to set it to a higher value okay so that said and done let's git clone the repo of ragflow and I will drop the link to it in video description let's wait for it and that is also done let's cd to the docker directory in it and now we are in this docker directory let me also set the permission to this uh, not this one i think there should be an entry point file because we need to make it executable otherwise it won't run and that is also done let me also set the permission to the sock file and this is the sock file which i also have set and now let's run our docker compose to bring everything up now one thing here is that um, the size of this is around 9 gig so make sure you have plenty of space on your hard disk and this is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait for it to finish and everything is now running up all the containers are healthy and started running you can check out the logs of your containers by simply running this command and you can see that now it, ragflow is running on our local system now if you want to check it on your local system simply go to your browser window and do localhost and you can see at localhost i am um, running this ragflow now so it's the first time you can sign up and i have just signed up with my own email address and then you can sign in and once you sign in you can see that this screen will appear at the top right on your profile photo and it doesn't look like my profile photo but that is fine so you click here and then from there you can see that your profile appears and the first step here is to just click on model provider on the left and you see that this tongi can run it just comes free with this which is cool so i'm not going to set it it is already added and then from here you can add a lot of models like openai moonshot i believe there is also DeepSeek and byshaw grok gemini so you just need to provide your api it also enables you to use olama so if you click on add model here it is just going to um, support the olama with it so and you can also add so open AI here you just need to click on open AI and you can specify your open AI key here and for the purpose of demo i have just selected the open AI's model and as i said you can select any model of your choice if you like second step click on system on the left and you can see that these are all the system stuff which is happening this is elastic search is running mysql redis and uh, they are all up and running you can see that they are all green which is great and then back in the model provider you see on the top right there is system model setting blue button just click on this and you see that this is a chat model you can select it to uh, your default model because we have gone with openai so i'm just looking for openai's model here if i could find these are we have this I'm just going to go with the GPT-5 3-point turbo because it is the cheaper one but you can select any of your choice for embedding model maybe I'll just uh, go with text embedding if it is available where is the text embedding yep there you go so text embedding I think v2 is fine it comes free and then for image to text model I'm not going to use it so I'll just keep it as is and then we have our sequence to text model for that one maybe i'll just go with the default paraformer one and i'll just keep it as is the redact model i'll just click to say okay here and all the system models are done now um, let's create our first knowledge base and we you can you're allowed to upload files to a knowledge base in ragflow and parse them into data set a knowledge base is virtually a collection of data sets question answering in ragflow can be based on a particular knowledge base or multiple knowledge bases file formats that ragflow supports include documents like pdf doc docx text and markdown it also supports csv files like uh, csv excel or xlx uh, you can even upload pictures like jpeg png gif 
and even you can upload slides like PPT or PPTX. So let's create the knowledge base. I'm just going to click on knowledge base at the top and then click on create knowledge base here. And then you can just give it any name of your choice. I'm just going to just say KB. Okay, sorry. KB for knowledge base. Click OK. And you see that now um, we have our configuration page of our knowledge base. Ragflow offers multiple chunk templates that cater to different documents, layout, and file formats. And you can select the embedding model and chunk, chunk method, which is template for our knowledge base here. So you see this is a knowledge base. You can even upload the photo for it. And then these are the different templates. Language, you can select different languages here. English or Chinese at the moment. And text embedding model is selected, entity type, and all that stuff is already there. So I'm just going to go with the default one at the moment so just click on save it's already should be there and it's all done and now you can add your own file here so let me upload a text file here which contains my own data so once you click on add file it shows you you can even create an empty file right here or you can just select a local file so i already have somewhere let me click here and then i should have some my files here let me find my file and I have uploaded this file fahad.txt which just contains my own personal information. So once it's uploaded, you see that the, the chunk number are zero. We need to first chunk it, which means that to separate it out in different small pieces. Click on bulk on this drop down and then click on run here. And it is going to start the chunking process. And you can see that now the chunks are three here which is quite good and then there are a lot of other things which you can do with it like i mean if you want to change the configuration which i which we already saw you can change the configuration and if you scroll to right here you will see that not only you can see the parsing status which is success and you can ignore this it says the start to build index and this is all done and then you don't have you can redo it from here you can edit the file so if i click so it's a chunking method sorry and then this is a rename you can rename your file and you can even delete it and you can even click here on chunk method it is telling you how it is doing the chunking because it is simply a general one a txt file but you can change it from here if you're uploading some csv or anything like that and then you can even use the raptor to enhance the retrieval but i'm not going to use it now, if you want to create a chat assistant, you can simply click, click or create an assistant. And from there, you can uh, give your assistant a name. You can upload an avatar and, you know, you can select your knowledge base. For example, we just created our knowledge base. So I'm just selecting it and you can even select more and more of them. You can do the self rag, which is simply uh, another paper, which I also have covered on the channel if you're interested. And then it is also going to show us the codes or whatever the original text rate if it is valid and then you can set various other information as you can say an opener one too so let me save it and you can see that now we have this test which is a helpful download and you can just start different chats here like new chat let's wait for it okay there you go and then you can just talk with it like who is Fahad Mirza Sorry, the AI YouTuber, and then it is searching for it. And then you are going to get this error. And this is what I wanted to show you towards the end that uh, many people have asked about it because they are receiving this error. So the problem with this is that this rag flow is from Alibaba and the problem with alibaba is that you would need a paid account with them to get this api key and once you have that api key you would need to go back to your model provider and in the uh, top right and then from there you see this is the model which is hard coded here and for the life of me i can't believe that anyone would do this so 
you would need to click on API key and then set it here. I don't see any option here um, to remove this. Um, I have, you can see that we have added OpenAI and key. So the only way is to go to alibaba.com, create a paid account and then put your API key in. Personally, I would not do that. Um, so I'm not going to use it. But if you really want to use Ragflow, this is the last step. And as soon as you will put your API key there, you can create an assistant and start chatting with it. You can even create a graph on top of it. Tool is good, no doubt about that. But I think this last bit is not really good enough. If it is open source, then they should also at least make it easier or some trial version so that we could obtain an API key. So that's it guys. I hope that it was useful. If you're looking to install Ragflow, you now know the whole process from end to end and that was the purpose of this video. Let me know what do you think. If you already have the Alibaba's API key, please share your experience with us. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.